This video is going to talk about motion links in Autodesk Fusion 360. After you've modeled your assembly, you may want to add motion between components. For example, this gear may want to drive this gear. You also may want to drive two timing pulleys to drive this gear to this gear through the pulley system. Motion links is your answer. Let's get started. Before you place motion links into your assembly, you must have already established your appropriate joints. I have three main joints here I'm going to animate first or link together. One is the main gear, one is the timing pulley gear, which is actually through a belt system, and also the screw gear. So once I have those, they're all rotation. We'll come back to other types in a second. I go to the assembly tab come down to motion links it's asking for the joints I want to link together so I'll pick the main gear is my first one and notice it's picking up the rotation about the z-axis and then I'm gonna pick the timing pulley gear so it gets your preview they're both rotating about the z you could change that if your joint is different but notice they're running the wrong speed this timing pulley is being is a two to one ratio so the main one only needs to run excuse me the timing pulley gear only needs to go 180 degrees to every 360 of the other one of course the animation you can turn off if you desire and you can reverse the direction I'm going to say OK now you can always test a motion link instead of driving it just simply drag it as you see it's running correct I turn this one two times to this one because of the ratio let's go through the same process for the gear to this the screw thread I'm gonna go back to the view next thing I want to do then is go to my motion links I'm going to continue with the same location of everything I'm going to pick on the first one, which is the main gear driving the screw screw gear again these are a two to one ratio this is a 24 tooth gear and a 12 tooth pinion so I need to make the main gear turn 180 degrees to every 360 of the other one now you notice it's going the wrong way so I'll reverse it and I'm going to stop the animation and say OK. Again, I can check it out by simply dragging the main gear. I'm going to add a gear to the system. I have already placed the gear in my assembly. I need to constrain position. I've already placed some construction geometry, a point in space on an axis, which I'll put the gear on. To do this, I must add a joint origin to that point. Next thing I want to do is put a rotational joint or revolve joint between the top the gear and that joint origin I just had. It's rotating about the Z. Now the next thing I want to do is mesh them. I'm going to do this visually. Just turn to position and capture. Next thing I'm going to do is add my motion link between that new joint and the original main gear so I pick the main gear first and then the last which I have not named and I'll go ahead and say animate it and you'll see it's running the wrong direction it's also the same ratio so I need to make this 180 I'll say OK again I can check it by turning the main gear Motion links are not restricted to just revolving joints. They can be applied to any type of joint in Fusion 360. Let's take a look at one between the screw thread on the shaft and the block. This will be a cylindrical constraint or joint between the screw thread and a slider on the block. So expand this small assembly and look at my joints. I have a cylindrical on the screw, on the, uh, screw thread and a slider on the block. I've already created this link, but let's go ahead and edit it. 
things move out of position because of my assembly constraints, but that's not really important. Now, as you can see, I have the cylindrical joint rotating about the Z on the screw thread, the shaft. And I'm sliding about the Y axis on the block. Now my ratio, for every turn of the screw, I do the ratio of the thread, which is, it's a 10 pitch thread, so it's going to be 0.12 inches per revolution. I had to reverse it to get it the right direction. I can animate if I want. It moves on the screen a little odd, but it'll move right in the assembly. I'm just going to cancel that and then show you how it works. So if I turn the main gear, as you can see, the screw thread is moving the block up and down, depending on the motion. Let's zoom up a little closer and we can see it a little better. So again, you can see that motion lengths can be added between different types of joints. Thank you for watching.